So now for our last question for today, we're going to solve question eight here. Okay. So a sample of glucose. So question eight. Okay. A sample of glucose. has so C six H twelve O six has two times ten to the twenty two atoms of just C carbon. Okay. How many actually just put A, B, and C here. How many atoms of H how many molecules of glucose how many moles and what's a mass So that's a lot of questions just from that little information. The good thing is that we can actually find all those answers. So right off the bat, okay, we have from this dealing with atoms. So we need Avogadro's number, okay, and that's the amount of particles per mole. That is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms per mole. But that will come in later, okay? So right now, it's asking us how many atoms of hydrogen. In this case, we just use ratios. So six to twelve, right? That means for every one atom of carbon, there has to be two atoms of hydrogen. So by using that ratio, actually, we can actually answer this right off the bat that there's going to be double of that. So that's going to be four point zero times ten. To 22 atoms of hydrogen. Okay, so that one's relatively straightforward. Now, with this, we can actually also say how many molecules of glucose, because remember we're still dealing with atoms. So for every six carbons, there's one glucose. So now it's a six to one ratio for the glucose. Okay, so with that, we just divide the two by six. So it ends up being like uh, one-third, well, 0 0.333. And just remember that because it's 10 to the 22, when you go down one lower, it's gonna be to the 21. But in summer, we do get, you know, 3.33 times 10 to the 21 molecules of glucose. Okay? So that's what we get there, and the three is repeating. And now it's asking for how many moles. So remember, we have this Avogadro's number here, but that also applies to molecules, particles, etc. Okay? Because you want to go from atoms to moles, so you have to divide these molecules by Avogadro's number to give it the moles. So we have 3.33, or repeating, times 10 to 21 particles. Let's just use that to make it easier. Okay, and we know for every one mole, there's 6.022 times 10 to 23rd particles. Okay, so when you put it like that, you see that your units cancel out, leaving you with the moles. So that's perfect. And the number we get here, because I did the calculation beforehand, was 5.5 times 10 to a negative 3 moles and that is how many moles we have of glucose okay and here just to avoid confusion so say molecules I'm gonna say particles that way we know we don't say mole and mole and we get confused so we have 4.0 times 10 to 22 atoms 3.3 repeated times 10 to the 21 particles and 5.5 times 10 to the negative 3 moles. So what is the mass of this amount? 
So the way we find that out is relatively straightforward. We need the molar mass of glucose. So the molar mass of glucose, if you refer to a periodic table, you have to make sure you get K times 10 to a negative 3 moles, all right, multiplied by, we know that it's going to be 180 point one five six grams per mole of glucose so you see here the moles indeed do cancel out leaving you with just grams so the answer here so your calculation beforehand we have funny enough around 1.0 grams of glucose right yeah coincidence huh. who knows and that right there should be our answers for each part. Let's see how they did. So yep, one to two ratio. So they do get the 4.0 times 10 to the 22 atoms of hydrogen. And now it's one to six ratio. They definitely got the 3.3 times 10 to the 21. Perfect. And now they got our 5.5. Interesting that they put 0.5 to, it's the same thing. They just didn't want to move decimal in one more place but that is what we got as well. And then the last part, they have a closer number, 0.9936. I just rounded up because I only had two significant digits. So that's why I put the 1.0 grams, but this is correct. So it shows that even with the smallest information, you can just get every part of the question. Just make sure you're keeping along with your units so you don't get confused in any section, okay? So with that, let me just end it here. So once again, thank you for joining me this evening. Uh, my name is Fajero. As I said, if you have any other questions, definitely don't hesitate to click on the link in the description below. And with that, have a, a very good night.